um, to an example like what's on the uh, core project. So here we go. We have a sine curve, and there's stuff going on with it. But if we remember what sine looks like, sine usually always starts at zero, zero, um, goes up, goes down, and then back up. And this is usually done within 2 pi. That's the, the parent one. And it goes up one and down one. Well, let's talk about what all is different on this one. Well, the 3 in front is going to affect the amplitude. The amplitude is going to be 3. The number in front of the x is going to affect the period. The normal period is 2 pi, but that's going to give me a period of 2 pi divided by 2, which would be pi. Now, because there's something subtracted or added within there, that actually gives me a shift. So the way to find the shift is to take that, whoops, 2x minus pi, I set it equal to 0, So this is going to be, since that's a positive shift, that means I'm going to start at pi over 2 instead of starting at 0, 0. And I need to get all the way to 2 pi at least. And I've got to get, let's see, 3 tall. So I'm going to make that a 3. I could just do 3, 2, 1, and put my line right there, and I don't have to make it this big. That's, that works. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. I'm kind of spacing mine out a little bit. I'm going to get this all the way to 2 pi. Um, whoops, did I count right? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. I made eight marks. I'm going to go halfway in between, so at pi would be here. Halfway in between would be pi over two. This would be three pi over two. This would be pi over four. Three pi over four. 5 pi over 4, whoops, over 4, not 7, and 7 pi over 4. And my graph is starting at pi over 2. And the period is pi, so 1 full pi would have been from here to here, so it's going to come back and make a full cycle here. That means it's got to go up, hit, down, and hit. Now, as far as it going up, it's going to go up to 3 this time and down to negative 3. And then it would go up again and down again. And what would this side look like? Well, it would have gone down and up. Ooh, this is almost like it just kind of flipped upside down. That's kind of cool. Anyway, all right, random things. So when am I increasing? So these are the questions I think most people were having problems with. Increasing. Increasing means the graph is going up hill. So it starts going uphill here to there. So that's from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4. Does it do it again? Yep. From 5 pi over 4 to 7 pi over 4. When is it decreasing? 
Well, this is going downhill, so from 0 to pi over 4. Then again, 3 pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. And then we have a last little leg that's going down. The next question asks about extremas. So let's talk about extremas. Extremas are your extreme y values, so your maximums and your minimums. So I'm going to start with the maxes. I have a maximum at this point, and so that would be 3 pi over 4 comma 3. And then I have another one at 7 pi over 4 comma 3. Minimums. My minimum is at pi over 4 negative 3 and another one is at 5 pi over 4 negative 3. I believe it also asks for x and y intercepts. So I'm going to do that over on this side. Y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis, so that is the point zero, zero. X-intercepts, we got a lot of them. I can list them out. I could say it's zero, pi over two, pi, three pi over two, two pi. Or remember, I could do this as zero, plus or minus, how far away is the next one? Pi over 2, and it repeats. So there's two ways I could write the x-intercepts. We could also talk about the domain. The domain technically is all real numbers, and the range is from negative 3 to 3. 